Hey guys, it's your girl Mariah, and today we're gonna be making fully loaded tacos. So stay tuned, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All the ingredients that I have purchased for the fully loaded tacos today. Most of my ingredients are like standard stuff you put into taco, cayenne pepper, paprika, cilantro, taco seasoning, salt, pepper, onion, garlic, oil of course for the frying, Mexican blended shredded cheese, the tortillas to fry, sour cream, salsa, hot sauce, guacamole. You can make your own guac, but today I decided just to like go with that. Cilantro, fresh cilantro, lime, and some corn, onions, and ground turkey today. Usually I go with um, ground beef, but I was like, let me just be a little bit more healthy and get ground turkey. So anyway, stay tuned. Watch how I make my taco. You ready? Let's get it. <laughs> I think I did it wrong. <laughs> anyway, stay tuned. Let's go. Well, the stove so I can like start cooking the turkey or whatever. So I start off with the turkey before I start making the um the taco, like the pitas, frying them. So yeah, first I spray my pan with like a little like avocado oil. And then I know this is redundant, but like you know, then I like put some oil in the pan just to like heat it up a bit or whatever. So when I cook the turkey, it can be nice and moist. Okay, so I'm gonna wait for that to heat up. Yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna put like a little bit of onions just to get like, you know, the pot going or whatever. I'm gonna put more towards the end, but for now I'm just gonna put this for now. Now we're adding the meat and I'm about to season now. Okay, so now I'm gonna start seasoning. First, I'm gonna take some black pepper, put that all over. Meat. You want your taco to have lots of flavor, you know? So, then I add some cayenne, not too much, cause like, I'm trying to like, not be too spicy anymore. So, yeah, I try not to do too much spicy in my food anymore, cause it's not really, you know, you just, can't be too spicy too much. Then I put some of the cilantro in. Let me lower this stove. Salt. Onion powder. Garlic, of course. Getting one thing. No, I think oh the Creole seasoning. The Creole, you guys know I love this. It like gives a kick to everything. And then towards the end I'll put the taco seasoning, but for now while it's cooking, I'm just gonna let it like marinate or whatever. the turkey is almost but not quite almost done i like to add a little bit more onion because i don't like when like the onions like get burnt so i let that like cook a little bit i didn't buy peppers this time because like i said i'm not trying to be too spicy like before so yeah so i put a little bit of that in let that cook for a little 10 minutes more and then i'll add my other ingredients in okay so i just added the taco seasoning ketchup and barbecue sauce because I just like that um it gives it a little tangy sweet but tangy taste I added the sweet corn and now I'm gonna cut up some fresh cilantro to you know bring it all together okay so I added the fresh cilantro so now I'm gonna squeeze like a lime just a little bit to give it that little a little zest with the tanginess I promise you guys, this is gonna be so good. Okay, so now that the meat is all done, I'm gonna put it like on low 
so it can just be nice and warm for when the other thing, when the tacos are finished. I'm gonna put this stove on, take my canola oil and just like fill it up. Whatever amount you feel is best. Yeah, that should be enough. I got the organic canola oil. It has like omega in it, I don't know. Can we say it's good for you? Anyway, this smells delightful. Like, I don't know what it is about cilantro, but it just makes the food just, it smells heavenly in here. It smells like, it smells better than Chipotle in here. That's for sure. <laughs> it smell bad. Oh, it smells so good. Probably might squeeze a little bit more wine in there. Can't get enough lime. Okay, that's enough. Okay, so today I'm gonna make two flats and then one like folded one. Cause like, I'm still getting used to making like the folded one. Like I'm good at the flat ones, but not like the folded. But we'll see. So I'm gonna fry this. I don't think the oil is hot enough, but it'll do for now. This is my favorite brand, like, it tastes so good. Yeah. So I'm gonna let that fry. Like, make sure when you're, like, frying it, you're, like, really watching it because you don't want it to have, like, air bubbles. So you just have to, like, flatten it out while it's cooking. Hope you guys can hear me well. Like, I'm... Still waiting on my mics to come in, so yeah. Yeah, so like if it's getting bubbles, like you just like flatten it out. It's so good. So let me put the stove on a little bit higher. Because these things could cook very fast. This one is getting so many bubbles. I think it's gonna burst. It might pop. <laughs> Hopefully not, like. It's not supposed to have these much bubbles. I never experienced this before. Why when I'm making a video, it wants to like pop on me. Don't do that to me. Now well, I'll flip it now and then figure it out later. Cause it just wants to like make, it wants to be a jiggly puff. What the f is this like a GMO one? Like, why is it like popping like this? It still won't stay flat. Okay, guys, this one, this is really weird. Okay, I'm gonna make another one because this one is just like, I don't know. No, so what's going on with these tacos are just like malfunctioning on me. So hopefully I don't burn my hand. But this is what I saw how to make like the, the ones like. Okay, guys, time to prepare the taco. So I put a little bit of the meat on one of the flats, just a little bit. Yeah, that looks so good. Then I put a little bit of guac. Guac is optional. A little bit of sour cream. A little bit of salsa for that kick. And then last but not least, some cheese. Sometimes I like melt it and put it like in the oven, but this will do for now. And if I want a little bit more lime, then I'll like squeeze a lime on top. But that's the fully loaded taco. Mm. I'm gonna go to the dinner table and eat this. Hey guys, I'm ready to dig in and have dinner. I need to get some more hot sauce. <laughs> but you remember I told you guys I gave up spicy food, so that's why that hot sauce is like barely nothing. Okay guys, thanks for tuning in until my fully loaded taco recipe. If you guys wanna try it, I'll list the ingredients below. Thanks for tuning in. I'm about to dig in now. Put some hot sauce a little bit. Today I'm cheating on my spicy diet. Okay, a little bit of spice, not too much. Bon appetit. Mm, that is so good. I 
amazing. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Love you.